taps off into the wall here. This is a cooling duct, uh, circulating fan inside of the cooler to bring cool air in to keep this part of the box cold. Uh, eliminates us having to use glycol. Uh, keeps the beer lines cold. Um, no solenoids or stages that I can see. Just over tapped. The box is nice and cool. Shut that. Bunch of split adapters. Split taps here, 20 taps, and we have holes for 10. Uh, owner wants to go back to 10, so we're going to remove the double taps. Double taps, double taps, double taps. Uh, in the back, <clears throat> CO2 system going in through the cooler. Two CO2 lines. Okay, two CO2s. Pretty close to being low. That was good. This is the keg cooler, beer cooler. All of our kegs. Um, let's fix that. Okay. All of our kegs here. Um, I don't see any staging for the kegs. Everything is just um, run straight from the kegs. In through our line here, this is the circulating fan bringing in the cold air to underneath the box. All of our refrigerant lines are cut in to this uh, flexible duct work. Again, beer lines are nice and cold. CO2 lines and beer runs. Uh, this CO2 line here is tapped in to feed two different kegs. Uh, beer lines coming up, again, going through the ventilation. Um, got some regulators. Uh, most of them seem to be uh, at a good pressure. This one's high. Uh, there's 11 pressure regulators for the CO2. Yeah, the only one that's high is this one. I don't know if this is like a thick beer or something. Um, looks like we'll be able to just get uh, single taps to replace where those dual taps are. And we'll be able to just run beer line uh, from the customer's beer of choice um, and eliminate 10, 10 different beers so he just has the 10 he wants. Uh, seems pretty simple. No solenoids to contend with. There's no glycol system on it. It's nice and cold in here. Uh, this isn't, shouldn't be too bad. Um, more than anything, it's going to be eliminating lines, beer lines, and uh, also eliminating 10 taps, um, replacing them all with single taps. Uh, what am I missing here? So yeah, there's a lot of beer, a lot, a lot of beer. One, two, three. Oh, this one's T-wide again. So this one's got a lot of different beers on it. This one, they have this regulator valve on it. This one 
one's just feeding that one regulator right now. And this one's feeding all of them. All the CO2 valves are in series with each other. I don't see a TY splitting anywhere. A circulator pump. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's like a little circulation fan bringing that cold air into underneath the, the taps. It keeps the beer lines cold. Okay. Yeah, just that one's run off of its own tank. I wonder why. Probably didn't have enough pressure to carry all these lines for 20 freaking taps. Alright. We are looking at HTP model number Hotel Tango Alpha 28134 Bravo serial number Charlie 02167394. 0101 Feels like it's doing good. No freezing. So this one shouldn't be too bad. I'm gonna go look at the taps again. I'm kinda glad there's no glycol system on this one. I'm gonna poke my head up there, see what this is all for. I just wanna make sure it's not a condensation pump. for single taps. It's not staged. <laughs> 